Hey guys, today we're gonna to go over three critical iPhone settings that you need to change right now. And this is all about your privacy and security. So let's get started with the first one, which is creating what's called a legacy contact. And what that means is if you were to pass away, somebody would have access to your phone. They'd have access to your files, your photos, your iMessages, your text, your contacts, they'll have access to everything just as you do right now. And the biggest concern most people have is, hey, I don't want anybody to access that stuff right now. After I pass away, that's okay. Well, for your information, they're gonna need three things. They're gonna need your date of birth, they're gonna need a death certificate, and then they're also gonna need an access ID. So when you sign them up to be your legacy contact, they'll get the access ID, but once again, they have to produce that death certificate before they'll have access. So give it some thought. You definitely want it to be somebody that you completely trust to have this information, but grab your phone and let me show you exactly how to set this one up. Click on settings. From here, click on your name and Apple ID up top. From here, you're going to click on password and security and you're gonna scroll down to where you see legacy contact and click there. And then once you click on add legacy contact here, it's going to go through all of this information about adding the contact, sharing your access key, and passing down your digital legacy. And if you decide you wanna do that at that point, just click the add legacy contact. Number two is add a VPN to your phone. A VPN is a virtual private network, and it's really simple to add to your iPhone. I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a moment, but I wanna explain a little bit more about what it does. A VPN, the virtual private network, will hide both your location, where you're accessing information from, as well as what you're accessing. So it really takes your iPhone to that top level of security. And down below, I'll leave a link, and it's a company that I am an affiliate for, so I do make a small commission, and they've set up a deal for for all of my viewers to get a little bit better deal than you would get normally. So you can check those out by clicking the link, but let's grab your phone and I'll show you exactly how to set it up with your iPhone. Click on settings. From here, click on general. And then you're just gonna scroll down to where you see VPN and device management and click there. And from here, you're just going to click on VPN and you can add your configuration and you'll get all of this information when you sign up for NordVPN. Hey, if you like this video so far, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button, but let's jump into number three, which is a privacy and security safety check. And what we're going to do is go into your phone and do a safety check, and you're going to review what people have access to your information, as well as what apps have access to your information, and then you can review those and make a decision on who you want to give that information to. And I really like this safety check feature because it puts you in control of what you're sharing. So grab your phone and let's do that safety check. Click on settings. From here, scroll down and click on privacy and security. From here, scroll all the way down until you see safety check and then go to the bottom and click on Manage Sharing and Access. You'll require your Face ID, scroll down, and you can see you can review people, manage and review apps, and then review your account security. Just click Continue to begin. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. And if you want to see some more good tips on your iPhone, check out one of these two videos here and they'll help you get even more and a better experience out of your iPhone. Thanks for watching.